How to wire and test your robot's sensors. You will need assorted wires, heat shrink, and a soldering iron. Many of the wires of the different sensors can be connected together and put on the same pins of the microcontroller. For example, power, red, and G and D, black. However, each sensor has a wire that should be connected to its own pin. To connect the microcontroller pins, you will need to attach a female housing to the sensor wires. For this purpose, it is possible to use wires that come with these endings pre-attached. You will need one red and black two-pin wire, one green wire, and several yellow and blue ones. Begin by putting heat shrink on all of the wires. Then, pre-tin them and connect them together. Finally, shrink the heat shrink with the lighter. Begin by connecting the yellow signal wires from the light sensors, then bring all of the G and D wires together, pre-tin, and connect. Then repeat for the power wires. You might need larger heat shrink for these as there are several wires. Then connect all of the green SDA wires together onto one wire and all of the yellow SCL wires together. However, make sure to connect each blue GPIO wire to a separate connector wire.
Once all of them are connected, you can test the sensors using the testing code. For the light sensors, plug the red and black wires onto the VCC and GND pins close to the analog pins, and the yellow wires onto the analog pins. Plug the microcontroller into the computer and open the Arduino light sensor testing code. Click Tools, Board, and select Leonardo. Then click Tools, Port, and select the COM port corresponding to the microcontroller. Compile the code using the button with a tick mark. and then upload it using the button with an arrow. The microcontroller flashes a blue LED while the code is being uploaded. Once it has finished, open the serial monitor using the magnifying glass button in the top right corner and read the sensor data. Each column of data is a light measurement of the sensors in the order A0, A1, A2, A3. For testing the IR sensors, plug the red and black wires onto the VCC and GND pins close to the analog pins, plug the SDA and SCL wires on the corresponding pins near the opposite corner on the board. Finally, plug the blue wires onto the analog pins. Plug the microcontroller into the computer and open the Arduino IR sensor testing code. Compile and upload it, then open the serial monitor. Each column of data is the range measurement, in millimeters, of the sensors in the order A0, A1, A2, A3. Once you have ensured that the sensors are wired and working properly, they can be glued in place and the light sensor should be painted. For glue, use epoxy or a hot glue gun. To prepare epoxy glue, Measure out the proper proportion of resin and hardener and mix well. Be sure to check the glue's working time and plan accordingly. It is recommended to work on a sheet of protective paper. Insert the distance sensor into its plate part and make sure it lies flat. Then apply the glue to the back of the sensor such that it touches the sensor circuit board and the sides of the 3D printed part. Be careful that the glue does not stick out of the hole or the sensor will no longer fit in its slot. For the light sensor, the glue should fill the cavity at the back of the sensor in order to secure the components and wires.
Here again, be careful that the glue does not stick out and that the wires lay flat in their slot. In the case that the light sensor is printed with white material, light filters through the tube. To avoid this, the sides are painted black. It is recommended to work on a sheet of protective paper. Apply a generous layer onto the tube. It might be necessary to apply two coats of paint.